fucking <sighs> look at my safety gear. I'm protected. I've got a protective shield. Protect myself from the spray can. I'm gonna shoot the arcade machine. And here we go. As you can see, I'm giving it a second coat from the last video. This is a part three. Circle. Circle. It's a big circle. We're coming right back to the beginning. This is where it all started. Part three of a part four series. Welcome. This is the Seraphim channel. And I'm him. Look at me. I'm using two... I'm actually using... I'm at least a dual shock. Holy shit. I'm using two spray cans, believe it or not with black ink in it and I'm just going back and forth okay so it's done it's dry it's I'm gonna get some more gap filler for that bottom bit and sand it back but till then let's get these computers cracking with MAME I've gone through three of them already I found my old laptop it doesn't work and then I found my tower computer full of viruses nearly killed me I done it in it's gone it's done so I got this one from a friend, thank you, and it worked. Oh, no, it didn't work. As you can see, it screwed up the graphics quite bad. You know what? It's an XP computer. I was using a Win32 program and still not enough power. So basically, I decided to play Pac-Man for the rest of the day. That's all I and I had purple LED lights just for the occasion. And then I decided to change the LEDs to blue whilst I played Street Fighter 2. Woolamilu. Look at this, great guys. Look, nearly done. Um, you know what? The computer ain't. I looked towards the light, realized I'm drunk. I drank too much. Look, it works. I'm so. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't work. So I was very upset about it. So basically, I decided to push my arcade machine with wheels all the way into the lounge room. Why? So I can connect my super long HDMI cord, as you can see, hanging out, all the way to my standard powerful PC pieces people very powerful piece of pricks uh, take two hi so we're now uploading all the ROMs in the games uh, I used to own the games when I was young before the fires of puberty broke through and my controllers and my consoles got the ring of tiredly death the ring of the death I got the ring of red death okay I'm, I'm embarrassed about it but I'm coming out it was the Xbox it was my Xbox all right it was my X and it had the red ring of death and I, my play, PlayStation got the blue screen of I screamed and no one could hear me and it was blue I was baffled by its beauty it was mind-boggling bastard it connects all the way to the PC all the way over there nice job I am so tired I'm so happy that this is finished what a great experience I really enjoyed building this uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it's not finished because next week we're gonna do more things but right now look at this I made that hole, that hole I made, and it works. <laughs> it's a beautiful, because uh, basically all the power comes out there. It's not quite finished yet, but I'm going to run a power. Uh, look at all the games, guys. Whoa, shiver me too. Chips. I'm hungry. Look at my cat. It's back. It, my cat loves looking at the game. Uh, I've watched him just sit there. I've got a boy cat and a girl cat. I call him boy cat, and I call the girl cat um, little girl, and she likes to watch as well. You know what? I'm going to connect the sound we got no sound so how about we connect the sound so basically I'm gonna run a headphone jack sound wire into the back of that hole into the monitor reason why is because the HMI carries all the sound across let's listen well that was fantastic okay there's a few things we haven't done yet wait wait do it oh my yes he did do it didn't he that's amazing okay so now that we have all of our games across um, I want to show you guys how easy it is to actually access them I just type in say I don't know Street Fighter bang all the Street Fighter games come up instantly is not that amazing that's for the arcade there's also like I said Super Nintendo Nintendo GameCube Sega CD Sega Saturn Sega and um, Sega Mega Drive I believe and you can just pretty much click on them I think that's so cool so uh, the other thing is I've connected the PlayStation controller uh, for now on the keyboard, like I said. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to Club Records for offering to make the front cover of the marquee and um, possibly for the control part. And I do appreciate that very, very much. Okay, so that works fine. These games are working great. Some of them don't work, a lot of them don't, but a lot of them do. So here are the other uh, consoles. Here you can see I've got a Sega... 
Genesis here, you can see all the games. It brings up all of the titles, all the cartridges as well, and all of the snapshots. Uh, back in MAME again, uh, I'm just testing out Mortal Kombat. I've got the controller to work with the PlayStation controller and the keyboard and mouse at the moment, as you can see. But in a few weeks, I'll be ordering in some buttons for the arcade machine. Okay, my voice is literally closing up as we speak. So I guess this video is coming to a close. And that's a great thing. Look at Galaga, it's amazing. I love Galaga. Galaga. Uh, I've also got Space Invaders and Pac-Man, of course. Merry Christmas, fellas. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will catch you very, very soon. So don't forget to subscribe and like the Vike. Vikings are cool. And the other thing that's cool is this over here. You can see all the information about the game, who it's made by, developers, time, and uh, information of the story. And also has some pictures as well of thumbnails and things like that, which I think is ridiculous. It's great. My throat was literally just tightening. as we, It was like choking me out. Um, but thank you so much, Club Record. If you're willing to do that, I know it's a big ass. That would be amazing, and I'd love to showcase that. Uh, shout out to you as well, buddy. So here we go. I've whacked everything in the full screen as well. You can also put it back into full, um, into the original screen as well if you don't like to stretch out your games, which I don't usually. Depends on the games. This is Aliens. Looks great. Let's have a quick play of this. What I'm thinking I might do is Retro Wednesdays or something, I don't know, where maybe once a week I'll jump in here and um, play a couple of old games that I have played since I was a kid. Um, uh, a lot of games I used to own when I was a kid, uh, like Double Dragon and things like that. There's so many games. The Sega Master System was one of my favorites because <laughs> I was only little. I didn't know any better. And look at that. It brings up the pictures and everything for each game, which is super fandangle. This is definitely the program to use. You can even upgrade this program um, to another one called Big Box, which uh, is a paid prescription. I do believe it's only $20. Um, and basically what that does is a lot more nicer graphics and brings up movies and music and everything all at once and just a different um, UI and it looks a lot better than this but I like this very easy to use this arcade machine is just crazy I'm crazy and I love it I like it a lot thanks again for watching guys I hope you have a safe and merry holiday Christmas time and um Arcade Machine Retro, yeah, that's great. I had a fantastic time building this. Hope you enjoyed um, the journey so far. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.